Hello fellow cinephiles, Film Guru here. So I'm continuing on my director retrospective series focusing on Guillermo del Toro's films and today I'm looking at Crimson Peak. And this stars Mia Wasikowska, Jessica Chastain, Tom Hiddleton and Charlie Hunnam. For those who haven't seen it, this film really focuses on Edith, whose mother dies when she's young but watches over her. She's brought up in a Victorian era, she strives to be more than just a woman of a marriageable age. She's only a spying writer in the vein of people, people like Mary Shelley and Jane Austen and, and people like that. She really wants to tell stories and she's really focused on a ghost story that she's writing. Ultimately she becomes enamored with Thomas Sharp, a mysterious stranger. After a series of meetings and incidents she marries Thomas and comes to live with him and his sister, Lady Lucille Sharp, played by Jessica Chastain. The naive girl soon comes to realize not everything as it is as it seems as ghosts of the past quite literally come out of the woodwork. I really like this film. It's a gothic romantic horror. It's in the vein of classic ones and reminds me a lot of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein in its design and its look. It's, it's ultimately just a normal sort of romantic drama film with ghosts in it. It's not a ghost film per se, it's just they're in it. And they sort of represent the past. So whenever we see them, they represent regrets and things of the past. And I really like that. I think Mia does a fantastic job playing Edith. She's really believable and her naivety is really great to see on screen. And you really believe she's this strong character, this strong-willed, driven character who wants to be more than everybody expects her to be. And I really loved that and that character really drew me into the story. And she really tells the story of what happens. She really shines throughout the film and you really get behind her as a character. I think Jessica Chastain's really great in this. First time she's really played sort of a real villainous, sort of dark character. And she's brilliant in this, does a fantastic job and I love all of her scenes. And this is a great Tom Hiddleton's performance. I don't think he's always brilliant, but this real role really suited him and really felt like he was really this person, this Thomas Sharp, and I think he's fantastic to watch. Charlie Hunnam is solid in this. This is one of his better performances. Between this and Sons of Anarchy, these are his best performances, I think. There's something about the films he works with Del Toro on. Del Toro is able to get a really great performance out of him, give him a really solid character, and he has really great moments within these films. And he also works, worked with him again in Pacific Rim, and I think Charlie Hunnam is really solid, and if he gets the right role, he can give a great performance. I just thought this, the gothicness of this was fantastic. I love the design of the house that she goes to. I love the fact that there's this red um, red clay all around the house and when it snows the red clay comes up through the snow. I think that's fantastic. I love the designs of the ghosts. They're sort of all red because they're you know filled with clay ultimately red clay and that's how they sort of come to life. Doug Jones did a lot of the performances here and he's once again does a brilliant job and I really love the design of these creatures and once again another brilliant design by Del Toro. His creativity just shines through in this film. And once again, it's the human element to this film that's the villain, not the ghosts themselves. And I really love that. I think he's really respectful of the monsters and creatures and ghosts more than most people. And I really love that. And I think he, he because of that, he gives his film something unique and different. I love the clothing, the set design. I love, I love the colors that are in the film. It's beautifully shot. It looks fantastic. It really feels like it could have been made in the earlier day because it just feels very relevant and very realistic of that time. And just the way it's crafted makes you believe it could have been made in that time. Yet again, it's quite violent in parts, but I think it just really adds to the story. There's something about the way Del Toro tells stories that I really love. I get drawn into them. I think there's really great colorful characters. I like the creature designs that he has and, and the way he goes about making films. Like all of his stuff is beautifully shot and well thought out. And he just really, really feels like he's telling a re original and unique story. There's some really great moments and scenes that stand out to me. One in particular is at the start of the film after Edith's mother has passed away. She's lying in bed and behind her is this long corridor. The camera's in front of her and we just hear noises and she sort of turns to look and we just see this character, this sort of ghost, dark ghostly figure just float in and is standing at the end of this long hallway. And 
we're just watching this character and slowly getting closer and closer and then the girl turns and then all you see is you know out of focus in the background the thing getting closer and all of a sudden it touches her hand she screams and it just whispers in her ear and gives her a warning that whole design of that shot is fantastic i like the colors it's beautifully shot and the ghost itself is fantastic and just that whole aesthetic of that scene is brilliant this is a real standout for me the other standard is when we first get to the particular house the sharp resident and we get to see it and how it's sort of old and rickety and there's a hole in the roof that the snow comes through each room is sort of dark and strange and just when we see the ghosts within these moments and how they just sort of disappear in such a way and how there's things that sort of leak off them in a way, which is beautiful and fantastic and really suits it. And this scene is really great. The Charlie Hunnam stuff where he's ultimately trying to help her and protect her. And I really like the scenes with him in it. The whole third act is brilliant, very well executed. We learn everything we need to know in this scene. It is violent in parts. And it's really about the Edith character trying to survive these two people and trying to work out what's going on before it's too late. And just trying to get through her experiences here and what she learns from it. I really love that. I think Jessica Chastain really shines here and is quite evil and dark. And Tom Hiddleton is really great as well and does a great performance. Of this guy that sort of hasn't really cared about people, but now he does. Like Jessica Chastain has this ring of keys to everywhere. And there's a real mystery going on there, a real mystery that you have to work out. There's clues presented to you and you have to go on the journey and put it together as Edith does. And I think this is really great. It helps the audience to invest a little bit into the story and to be part of it and to be a participant in the particular story rather than just a viewer. And I really love that. I think Del Toro has some great stories to tell. There's a lot of stories and ideas that he has. And I just love every film he's made. I continuously enjoy every outing he has as director. And he ultimately won an Oscar recently. And he well deserves, especially for the film he won for, Shape of Water. He's definitely a director to watch out for. And his respect for monsters and creatures is just beautiful. And he makes these films... His films sort of dark, but there's a beauty to them and it's just sort of hidden away. And that can be, the beauty can come from a particular character or a circumstance or like Pan's Labyrinth, a particular magical world. And he's really a master at this. Anyway, that's all for me today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this director retrospective series focusing on Del Toro. I will be doing a variety of more of his videos and ultimately ending with Shape of Water. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit subscribe down the bottom. Otherwise, until next time, enjoy the movies.